Ryan Gregory here, joined with Fordham men's basketball coach Keith Ergo. Coach, one and two right now in Atlantic 10 play. Just overall, I want to ask your thoughts on how you think it's gone so far. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not gone the way we would like it to go, having the first two Atlantic 10 games become losses. But, you know, we've talked uh, from the beginning of the year. For us, it's about trying to just continue to develop our young guys, our older guys get more and more mature, more and more experience, become the best team we can be by the end of the year. We feel like we got better after Davidson despite a loss against Rhode Island. We feel like we got better after Rhode Island against St. Joe's, and you know clearly we've got to get to be better tomorrow night against Dayton, and we feel like if we continue to do that, we're going to love some of the outcomes. Now, you look at experience on this team. Darius Quizumay with 33 points the other night at URI. As you continue to roll on in the conference play, and how important is that to have guys that have been here throughout the year? Yeah, I mean, it's it's incredibly comforting to know that you have some experience on the floor that, you know, they believe they're capable of winning any game they, they go into, and that's a mindset that, you know, I think is new around here. We have to continue to develop that. Um, but, it's uh, you know, it's extremely comforting to have some experience and know we have guys that can go make plays. We need a little bit bit more consistency out of some of the some of the other guys but you know as long as our defensive intensity continues to increase and improve on a game to game basis you know I feel comfortable about the offense taking care of itself now we're about at the halfway ish mark of this season overall when you look at in season in this roster who in your mind has really stood out and improved their game you know, quite honestly, I think everybody has really, you know, but um, guys like Roslav Nowitzki and Abdu Simbala, they, they've given such an incredible lift for us. Losing a guy like Chuba Hoams last year, these guys have picked him up pretty solidly. They've done a tremendous job, and every game they get better and better the more experience they get. But, you know, all of our young guys have continued to improve. Elijah Gray has is, is given us great minutes, will continue to do so. Um, you know, I think Antrell and, and all the, the, the veteran guys, uh, we know what to expect from them. But some of our young guys like Zach Riley and Will Richardson and obviously Elijah Gray, Ramad Dean, all of them at some point or another have stepped up and made big plays this year. And I think they're going to continue to do that like any other freshman or any other player that just continues to gain more minutes and experience. The game starts to slow down. So all we're, we're pretty excited about the development and the, you know, the, uh, the improvement of all of our freshmen, but a lot of our other guys too. You bring up improvement. A big motto with this team is getting better every single day. As you continue roll on conference play, what's one of the ways you look to continue to do that? Just the level of energy and effort each and every game, understanding that every game comes down to one possession in the Atlantic 10, so you can't take one off, and understanding that we've got to start games uh, a little bit more um, with some more intensity. A little bit more energy you know I love the way we've played some second halves but we've gotten off to some slow starts here in the last four or five games not just the last three league games so for us that's something we've got to continue to improve on getting off to hotter starts and understanding our energy and effort on the defensive end dictates how we play on the offensive end coach appreciate the time appreciate it